Alright guys, so we're still on the quest to uh to get um to get on Tommy Tiernan's show, man. So Tommy Tiernan, if you're watching this man, please have me on. <laughs> uh no, I'm just I'm kinda uh half joking guys, but I would love to go on a show, but obviously we need to grow a lot more before before that can even uh become a realm of possibility because Tommy Tiernan is one of the goats, man. He he is, in my opinion, this is the level of fame in Ireland, in my opinion. So number one, Conor McGregor. Now, number two, Tommy Tiernan, someone like that is up there. I'm not, I'm trying to think, probably Robbie Keane, Roy Keane, one of these guys, but Tommy Tiernan is up there as well, guys. As a, as an influential comedian to me, uh, he's number two. Uh, McGregor is probably number one uh, in terms of Irish man. He's just an absolute legend. So let's get straight into this one, guys. Like the video, comment down below what you want to see next. Also, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. And let's get right into it, man. Tommy's a native of Ireland, English, and England and Africa. So. He's a native of Ireland, England, and Africa. I don't know how that is, but we're gonna see. Wow, wow, that's okay, it's okay. It's fine, guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, wow, thanks for that amazing reception. Uh, great to be playing in this amazing club. Don't know if you know um, a lot about it. Uh, the Water Rats, Bob Dylan played here in 1962. It was the first place in London that he played, the first place in England. Bob Dylan played here. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, very funny or anything, but he... <laughs> uh, the Pogues played here. Hey. Yeah, amazing. How the fuck did they all fit on the stage? <laughs> you know? Oasis played here. Amazing, yeah. So the big difference between those three acts and me <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that they like to give off the impression of disdain. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Bob Dylan often doesn't look at the audience. Uh, Shane McGowan would often be looking in the audience's direction but not see them. <laughs> and Liam Gallagher would be staring through the fucking audience. Um, but I'm not one of those type of performers. I'm so obviously in need of your affection. And when I say you, I mean the general public, and I will travel anywhere in the fucking world to get it, you know. Uh, Travelling for affection, really, is uh, the story of my life. I was born, I don't know if many of you are familiar with the geography of Ireland and its different kind of idiosyncrasies. I was born up in Idiosyn Donegal. Idiosyncrasies, that's a big word for, for me and everyone here. Yeah, it's basically just the, the location. Which right? is right in the north of Ireland. Yeah. And like, everyone kind of said, who's going there, me man? We don't Wait, where was he born? Yeah. I was born up in Donegal, which is right Donegal. in the north Woo. of Shout Ireland. Yeah. And like, everyone <laughs> kind of said, who's going there, me man? We don't mean, who's going there, the wheel of Bobby, on the come over on the walk, and now in the sail of Bobby, we need to be the boy, yeah. Who's your little... That's a Donegal accent, I, I suppose. I've never, ever, ever uh, heard an accent like that before, but yeah. No. Bobby got no other mind, Charles, and all the others. And I had to get out of there as soon as I possibly fucking could. There was no way I was going to earn a living communicating with other people if that's the accent that I had. We lived there for a little Oh shit. That is the great. Hold up. I've never watched any of this before, guys, just by the way. Bro, that's the greatest comment I've ever heard in my life. He goes, I'm never going to earn any money communicating with other people if that's the accent that I have. Like, that's the thing, man. Some place in Ireland, man, you can't understand a word they're saying. Like, even when I see other YouTubers in Ireland, I'm like, what is that dude saying? Like, I, 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 and this ain't no hate, nothing, guys. This is just like constructive criticism. Like, I, cause even myself, I play back myself sometimes and shit, people say, <clears throat> uh, I sound American, but I probably the influence, probably just listening to it from Nickelodeon growing up, uh, other shit like that. But like, <clears throat> sometimes I play myself back and I can't understand a word I'm saying, so. That shit, we need to slow down on YouTube, guys. <laughs> Holy shit, that's perfect. As soon as I possibly fucking could. <laughs> there was no way I was going to earn a living communicating with other people if that's the accent that I had. <laughs> we lived there Dude, for a little while perfect. and then we moved to Africa. That's perfect. Swear to fuck, we moved to a country called Zambia, a town called Kabwe, where overnight, all of a sudden, everybody was talking like this. <laughs> Hello, what did you say on Nemos? What did you say on Nemos? Did you say on Nemos, Tumitira? Where are you from? Where are you from, Tumitira? Where are you from? <laughs> Oh, sh bro, I'm fucking dying, bro. Just as bro, I was getting the I'm fucking dying. hang. 
Bro, Tommy Tune is going to give a fuck, bro. This guy just rips everybody. With that, we moved to a place called Ahlone in the middle of Ireland. Everyone's going to fucking tell you that. Oh, Why do you mean you're from fucking Africa? You're not even fucking black. Why the fuck are you in the fucking third hill? Bro, this is brutal, bro. Lived there for a little while, and then we moved from there to a town called Navan, which is on the east coast. And I, I, I don't go back there. <coughs> Very, very often. I, I was back there recently and a kind of a shocking <laughs> and amazing thing happened to me. Uh, I was sitting in the shopping center in Navin in a cafe. My old headmaster <laughs> walked past, you know, just from here. And he saw me. <laughs> oh, bro, this is... And he came over to me. And the reason he came over to me is because I'm famous. <laughs> Now, to be famous in Irish is a kind of an oxymoron uh, because but if you're famous in America, you know, you uh, live an alternative lifestyle with big jets and massive houses <laughs> and your royalty. This is fast. If you're famous this is in fast. Ireland, people see you in fucking Tesco. And yeah. you're all the time approachable. Dude, Tommy Tune is so, such a legend, man, that he's explaining what it's like to be famous in Ireland. This is just legendary. He saw me. If my life had gone the way that he thought I was, it was going to go, you know, I'd still be at home now, living with the mother, <laughs> smoking the hydroponic skunk. <laughs> Bro, this guy is... 48 years of age, afraid to leave the house because MI5 are after me. Because <laughs> oh, they know is... I know stuff. Oh, they know I know. Watch out for the choppers. Watch out for the choppers. Yeah, they know that I know. That Lady Diana and Prince Charles' first baby was a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at Harry in a certain light, <laughs> that's the way my old headmaster would have thought my life was going to go. Oh, this but is here I am, good. famous. So he comes over to me. My fame is somehow a threat to his authority. <laughs> and I'm sitting down and I'm looking up at him as he's approaching. You know when you're, you wonder. When you're afraid of somebody as a child, will you still be afraid of them as an adult? Answer is yes. <laughs> and I had a big, huge, long beard at the time. Like, a lot of my facial things have changed. <laughs> I had to cut my hair because it was turning into the former Yugoslavia. It was breaking up into a series of small independent republics. <laughs> that's that's class. And I leave my hat on most of the time because I'm aware. Wait, yeah, he does have a little bit of an island here. I leave my hat on most of the time because I'm aware <laughs> that my head kind of looks like a testicle. <laughs> <laughs> so this stays on most of the time. Bro, so I had a hilarious. big, big, huge long beard, you know, and he sees me. He comes very confident. I mean, he's retired now, you know, in his 80s. But he Damn. still strolls around like Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. He comes over. And wait till you hear what he did. Wait till you hear what he did to me. <laughs> Without even saying hello, he just reached. And he put his fingers into me beard. And he said, underneath the fluff, you're still a little boy. <laughs> Bro, what the? I was nauseous and aroused at the same time. I didn't. <laughs> oh, we... bro. Tommy Tune is the goat, man. Right there. Legendary story. So, I love just hanging out with him for an hour, man. That shit would be hilarious. So, stayed in Africa. Yeah, I don't know why they moved to Zambia, but probably some sort of backstory to that. Uh, I think he said before he lived in Zambia. But yeah, hope you guys like that, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys all. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.